In this circuit, there are two identical light bulbs, a switch, and an ideal battery. Student M says, before the switch is closed, the bulb C is off and the bulb D is on, because the current from the battery cannot reach C. After the switch is closed, both bulbs C and D are on, but bulb C is not as bright as D because the current reaches D first. Part A1. Which aspects of student M's reasoning, if any, are correct? Explain your answer. A2. Which aspects of student M's reasoning, if any, are incorrect? Explain your answer. Part A1. The correct reasoning is, after the switch is closed, both bulbs C and D are on. With the switch closed, there is a closed loop for current to flow through both bulbs. Part A2. One incorrect aspect is, before the switch is closed, bulb D is on. When the switch is open, there is no closed loop for current to flow. So D is off too. Another incorrect aspect is, after the switch is closed, bulb C is not as bright as bulb D because current reaches D first. When the switch is closed, C and D are in series. They get the same current. It does not matter which bulb is closer to the positive terminal of the battery. Part B1. Write junction rule and loop rule equations for this circuit after the switch is closed. B2. Which of these equations support student M's reasoning? Explain how the equations provide support. The junction rule says, at any junction point, the current going in equals the current coming out. There is no real junction points in this circuit, but we can look at any point in the circuit. The battery pumps current out of its positive terminal and go counterclockwise. For this point, the current going in is the current from the battery. The current coming out is the current going through the bulb D. For that point, the current going in is the current through bulb D, the current coming out is the current through bulb C. So ID equals to IC. The loop rule says the change in electric potential through any closed loop is zero. For this circuit, there is only one loop. If I start here and follow the current, when I go across the battery from the negative to the positive terminal, the potential goes up by the voltage provided by the battery. And then I follow the current and go across the resistor. Following the current crossing the resistor, the potential decreases by I times R, and that will be ID times RD. And then I continue to follow the current, go across another resistor, so minus IR again, this time is IC times RC, and then I'm back to the starting point, so the total delta V should equal to zero. The junction rule tells us that when these two resistors are in series, they get the same current. And the loop rule can be turned into the voltage difference provided by the battery equals to the voltage across the resistor C plus the voltage across the resistor D. So when we say resistors in series have to share the total voltage, it is because of the loop rule. For part B2, we're supposed to answer which of these equations support student M's reasoning. If physics laws or rules support student M's reasoning, the reasoning must be correct. So let's look at the correct reasoning in part A1. It's uh, after the switch is closed, 
both bulbs C and D are on. This means both bulbs C and D must be getting non-zero current. For this, we will need both equations. After the switch is closed, IC and ID are equal. So we can factor out the current. So we have the voltage per difference provided by the battery equals 2. Since these two are the same, we can factor them out. And then I would have RC plus RD in here. As long as the voltage difference provided by the battery is not zero, the current through the bulbs would not be zero. So both bulbs will be on. Now for part C, see if you can fix the student M's statement and explain your reasoning. Before the switch is closed, both bulbs C and D are off because there is no closed loop for current to flow. After the switch is closed, both C and D are on. And the bulb C is as bright as D because the brightness of a bulb depends on the power. And P equals to I squared R. C and D are identical bulbs. This means they have the same resistance R. After the switch is closed, bulb C and D are in series. And the loop rule tells us that if the two resistors are in series, they get the same current. Same resistance and same current. Same resistance and same current means they have the same power. Therefore, the same brightness.